Hey family, thank you so much for stopping by. Robert Stearns here with Eagle's Wings. Really happy that you've joined us today. And I pray and believe that you're having a blessed day in every way. I am privileged to be standing here with American Entertainment Royalty. Uh, absolutely a part of the American landscape, Pat and Shirley Boone. God bless you both. He well, has. He has and he does. And we expect him to continue. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. It is wonderful to see you again. We appreciate our friendship with you so much. You've been such supporters of Eagle's Wings, yeah. and it's meant so much to us over the years. Well, of course, it's uh, it, it's a wonderful project and uh, it's something that's good for Israel, and, and of course, we believe very good for those who participate, because God says he's going to bless those who bless Israel, and that's our purpose. That's why we wear this. That's why I wear the Mugin David. And, and the, uh, and Shirley's got on her tie. Star of David yeah, there yeah. beautifully. Star of David, with a, but a half part of it is the heart shape for the star. Mm -hmm. My friend Gail Lev, who's an Orthodox Jew, who did Aliyah with her whole family just wow. not long ago. She was our therapist for our knee surgeries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> our yeah. But so, I mean, here you are, I mean, amazingly blessed, part of American yes. culture, uh, household names in America, and yet you pick up this piece this issue of Israel mm -hmm. and it becomes a part of your story it yeah. becomes a part of who you are why is that what what happened for you what what is it that has drawn you to Israel to God's heart for the Jewish people and why have you stood so strongly all over the, the years well I speak for myself uh, I think the influences in my life actually predated Shirley's that that have bent us this way my family, strong Christian church-going family. Out of Nashville. Out of Nashville. And uh, daddy, a, a, a building contractor, very practical profession. Mama, a registered nurse, even more practical maybe. And yet it was a very practical part of our lives that we had Bible studies and we were always in church services. And we knew from my earliest days that we were reading a book of, of reality and of truth written by Jews about Jews and for Jews mm -hmm. <laughs> from beginning to end, but that we Gentiles, not born Jews, could get in on it because of the one who came. Uh, the Jew who came. The Jew who came <laughs> in Bethlehem and grew up in Nazareth and who was recognized by rabbis and uh, ordinary folks alike mm -hmm. in his time as the fulfillment of all the Messianic prophecies and died on a cross and was raised. And then this became Messianic Judaism. It wasn't called Christianity. Right. It was called the way. Right. Those who were following this Messiah. And I don't know how many years, maybe several years it took for uh, Jews to realize that Gentiles could get in on this. It took miracles, actually, to persuade them. They thought, this is, this is, this is Judaism. This is fulfilled Judaism. Mm -hmm. But uh, Peter was convinced by God to... <laughs> to go preach to a Roman mm -hmm. in his home, a centurion, and, uh, and, and, and that Roman had been so devoted to Judaism as, as a, just as a, well, not a proselyte, really. He was just some, like us. He just saw something special and wanted right. to be part of it. And God added him to the family, and then that opened the door for all Gentiles who would receive the Jewish Messiah. That's how we got in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how we got yeah, in. Yeah. And so we have a, a tremendous heritage yeah. in the Word of God, the prophets of God, the people of God, our Messiah, yeah. Jesus, Yeshua. Yeah. All of this comes from the, the Jewish family. And Shirley, mm -hmm. you're wearing two pins tonight. Yes. You're wearing a pin of your grandson, yes. Ryan, yes. who we, so many of us, have been praying for him. Thank you and so much. And we have much. seen step by step. Your prayers are being heard. Step yeah. by step, this miraculous healing journey that, that he's on and the good report yeah. that just today that he's, he's begun to take steps and, and yeah. just incredible Let things Let me tell happening. you something so wonderful because Lindy has been she's grown so spiritually through yeah. all of this trial because she knew to look to the Lord for her help. She has prayed the word of God over that boy and so have we. And um, she's written a book mm. and the title of it is Heaven Hears. Wow. It comes out in April mm -hmm. and Jack's endorsing it. Rick mm -hmm. Warren is endorsing it. Mm -hmm. And so is um, Ken Copeland. Mm -hmm. Debbie's writing a forward, Pat's writing a forward because they were all on the Larry King show because Larry's right. the one 
who came to Pat at the beginning of the accident and said, would you like to come on the show and ask for prayer for your son? So the whole world. And he's agnostic, but he admires people of faith and said, I envy you. I wish I could have a faith like yours, but for this Jewish kid from Brooklyn, it mm -hmm. never connected. But, but I we, believe Ryan's going to be a sign to him. Yeah. I really well, I, your family's faith is already a sign. Uh -huh. yeah. The way that you have stood and seen hope and encouragement and faith in this process has been amazing. And every step of the way, there are these mile markers where he's doing things mm -hmm. doctors said he would never be yeah. able to well, do. You know, the right. night of the accident, Lindy was in Spain. And the roommate, the, well, it was the daytime, actually, the, his roommates called me because they couldn't reach anybody. And I lived 10 minutes from UCLA emergency room where he was taken. And when I got out of my car, the paramedics were coming out. I said, I think he just took my grandson in there. And they said, oh, miss, don't get your hopes up. You don't say that to an intercessor. I don't lose my hope over problems. <laughs> just makes wow. me pray more. So I went inside to find out what had happened. I found out he had fallen from the equivalent of a four-story building through a skylight, hit two wrought iron railings going down and landed on a concrete court. And the paramedics didn't think he was alive. They thought he was in the throes of death. They took him to the hospital at UCLA, tr the trauma unit, which happens to be a good one. God knows where to let things happen. Mm -hmm. And when I got there and they told me what had happened, two emergency room doctors came out. And while they were saying to me, uh, He's in critical condition. His spleen is ruptured. His lungs are collapsed. All of his organs have been traumatized and we can't stop the bleeding. It took 36 pints of blood to keep him alive. Just to keep him alive. But while they were saying that to me, Holy Spirit said, out of the Psalm 118, he will live and not die and not declare mm -hmm. the works of the Lord, the, the scripture says. But he, the Holy Spirit said to me, he will live and not die and declare the glory of God. And the glory of God is his very presence. Mm -hmm. And it was there with me. I never shed a tear. I never felt fear. The peace that passes Amazing. all understanding. And it's been that way from then till now. And what comes to me, and we only have a few minutes left, but what comes to me in these two pins, you know, you said regarding Ryan, mm -hmm. yes. they said he's in critical condition. Yes. Yeah. And the other pen represents Israel. Yeah. Yeah. And people are saying Israel in is in critical position. position. Yeah. Yeah. Surrounded by <clears throat> enemies in yeah. the natural, things looking yeah. so terrible. Yeah. Uh, a valley of dead, dry bones in, yeah. in, in the sense of all the enemies that are surrounding her. Mm -hmm. But God. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I have the spirit they should pray for. Pray for the spirit of Joshua and Caleb. Amen. And you're going in because God's given you too many promises. And God is not a man that he would lie. And so, Pat, wrap this up for us. At this point in your journey, mm -hmm. you've seen great miracles, you've walked through great challenges, and you've both come to this place where you're strong in your faith, mm -hmm. you're, 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 you're in this race, you're in it strong, and you're standing with God's heart for Israel. Speak to people across America right now, around the world, and, and how do they continue to line their faith up with the Word of God, with God's promises, and with praying for the peace of Jerusalem? That's a tall order, but <laughs> the simplest way, the most direct way, is to know what God's will is. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, Read the word. Uh, mm -hmm. If we know what God's will is, and, and for instance, we said, we know that God says, I'll bless those who bless Israel, mm -hmm. the seed of yeah, Abraham. I'll curse those who curse the, Israel. The other side of that coin is, I will curse those. Yeah. Woe to those. Hitler's who, gone, who isn't he? Yes, and a lot the, of other, the spirit it, Israel's is other different. enemies, though Israel has never been wanting to attack or wound right. or hurt other people. They just want to live in the land that was given them. And God said, I'll never, once I bring you back, you will never be removed. So mm -hmm. that's God's will. We need to know what God's will is so we can align with it. If we know how the story ends, and we do, mm -hmm. we do know that when Israel is finally attacked and the attempt is made to obliterate Israel, as many have threatened to do, that God will intervene directly that the enemies will be slain in, 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 in a horrible sequence of events. Israel will emerge uh, triumphant, though not through their own power, but through the miraculous intervention of God. Because so, that's, people are praying. And yes. it's not by my not, not by, by power, power, but by, by my spirit. the Spirit of so the Lord. So we need to be in line with God's will. And Amen. I'll tell you, we are proof of it because we have survived Hollywood, a marriage in Hollywood that next year is 60 years for us. <laughs> there you yeah. go. A we're just getting going good. 
Shirley, you got the last word. She gave the, she, she oh, gave the last oh. word. That's the secret, right? <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for who you are. Thank you for how you've encouraged and given hope and love and life to so many people. Thank you for how you've blessed my life, yeah. how you've stood with eagle's wings through the years. We appreciate you so much. <laughs> and we thank the Lord for all of it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Thanks for dropping by, folks. We hope you're doing well. We speak blessings yes. and faith yes. and peace over your life today. And keep praying for the peace of Jerusalem. Shalom. Shalom. God bless you. Wonderful, good, beautiful, good. you guys. It's like you're, well, we it's like you're in the business or something. Yeah. <laughs>